Hi, my name is Zach McMullen. I'm a welding engineer with Miller Electric Manufacturing Company. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to build an outdoor fire pit with the Multimatic 215. So I gathered all my material already. Um, my goal was to kind of build this fairly cheaply, so I just picked up some random material for my neighbors. Um, obviously the material that I have is very dirty, so before I do any type of welding, I want to try and clean it up the best that I can. Um, as you can tell, it has paint on it. Um, I was going to try and grind this off or burn it off before the project, but I just didn't have time. Um, but I am going to be putting a cooking tray on here, so I just want to be careful that before I put any type of fire in here or I do any type of cooking on here that I get all this paint off of here before anything else. I got all my material gathered up, I got it in place, um, I checked it with the level, I got some magnets holding it in place. Um, in here, I hit it with the grinder. This is pretty thin material, so I took off what I could, but I didn't want to remove, remove too much material. Uh, now I'll go ahead and tack this into position. The multi bag 215 is great for this project because it's a very versatile machine. I'm able to incorporate multiple weld processes with this project. So I'm using a self-shielded flex core process for welding the post onto the fire ring itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and build a cooking tray, which is going to be made out of much cleaner material. So I'm going to use the regular MIG process with a C25 shielding gas. So now I'm going to build the cooking tray for the fire pit. I just grabbed some material quick together. I didn't have a whole lot of time to get some nice cuts on there. I just cut it with a cutoff wheel on my grinder. So I know I got some fit up issues going on, but I was able to get it very square by clamping it down uh, using some magnets. Um, I checked the squareness going from corner to corner to make sure that it's square. Um, it's all ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and tack it into position. So I went ahead and measured the inside of the cooking tray. I'm, I am now applying those dimensions to a piece of mesh that I found lying around in the garage. I laid it out using a tape measure, a square, and a sharpie. And now I'm gonna use a Spectrum 375 plasma cutter to cut this out. So I got the mesh screen all cut out. I went through, cleaned it up, got all the sharp edges cut off with the grinder. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sit it down into the cook plate. I'm going to hold it down with my hand. I'm going to place a couple of tack welds to hold it into position. Once it's tack welded in, in place, I'll go ahead and put a couple of short welds on there to hold it into place. So now that I have the cooking plate complete, I'm going to go ahead and make the attachments that attach the cooking plate to the fire pit itself. So I just cut a tube here that's going to slide on the other tube that's on the actual fire pit. I'm going to drill a hole in here. I'm then going to put a nut, weld the nut onto over that hole. And then I'm going to take this bolt and I got a chipping hammer that I sacrificed. I'm going to weld that onto that. That way I can take the cooking plate on and off the fire pit. So I go ahead and I got this all centered up. I went ahead on my cooking tray itself and found a center point on that. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tack this into position. Once I have this tacked, I'm going to tack it to the cooking tray itself. And then once everything's tacked together, I'll go ahead and weld it together. So I got the fire pit all put together, it's all ready to go. Like I said, I'll probably put a couple fires through it first just to burn all the paint and residue off of it and then it'll be ready to go. For this project, we use the Multimatic 215. Some of the highlights of this machine is that it is a multi-process machine. Uh, it has a color display, which features Auto Set Elite. So for any process setup, we give you a recommended parameter, which is on the bullseye here, but then we also give you a range, so if you want to go in and make any fine adjustments, that is possible. 
This machine also comes with the MVP plug, which allows you to plug into either 120 or 240 volt input power. For more information on the Multimatic 215 and for more project ideas, visit millerwelds.com.